this is a uh, kind of a tutorial for how we can um, create a schedule for teams that are or leagues that are 28 teams uh, such as HSTL and apparently uh, TLL needs this kind of um, assistance too so um, what I the resources I basically need uh, I need techmobile uh, dot orgs um, how shall we say under the forums under league forums there's a uh, a thread I started with a bunch of examples of seasons uh, our season schedules for 28 team leagues where we used um, that generator from that old uh, Justice Sports um, website that we used to generate our schedules with before it went offline. So I'm going to go to, uh, did I miss it? Or, yeah, here we go, Online Leagues Lounge. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have it in there. And yep, 28 team schedule link compilation. It's pinned there. And what we want is to find out uh, what kind of season schedule just happened where um, HSTL's 37 schedule uh, is going to dictate what schedule we have for HSTL 38. And you know what? I, I think I sent it in a message to... Yep to Hoff where let's see yeah what did I say here this was last season's schedule and this is kind of the format yeah 37 um, the format is you uh, did I put the cycle where's this other cycles here's HSTL 30 which is 36. <clears throat> so the combination or the interconference uh, rivalries are what determine which essential cycle is how they used it. Um, and so two seasons ago was AFC East versus NFC West. Well, did I do this for 35? Oh, absolutely. So this is money. Um, January 6th. Let's, I think that is... January of this year yeah April 9 that makes sense so this is season 35 and in season 38 it's essentially going to be the same um, in the rotation and all I do to flip uh, who's home and who's away when you have those interconference ones for example <clears throat> when you have say Pittsburgh at the Giants there uh, I know that for sure that is an interconference one because Pittsburgh is in a four team division and those four team divisions, the AFC Central and the NFC West, they never have that fifth place team uh, weird schedule. So um, sometimes you'll have an interconference matchup that our fifth place team schedules, you can't really rely on that to determine what's your um, interconference uh, matchups. So this one for sure it's AFC or NFC East the Giants versus AFC Central Pittsburgh and that's what it should be this year in um, HSTL 38 but um, according to excuse me according to the uh, according to the um, the scheduling we don't want like in this case Pittsburgh's at the Giants um, if they happen to be in the same place in their divisions for this season like say the Giants are the second place team in the AFC NFC um, East and the Oilers are also second place. Um, we want to switch it so that um, in the in this cycle, three years later, this same matchup would have the AFC East or AFC Central team being home. It would be like the Giants at Pittsburgh if they happen to match up according to their slot uh, uh, finish in their division. So I'm going to use this as a template. Just actually, once I have all three of these cycles down in this thread in this. Uh, uh, message to uh, HSTO Commissioner Hoff. So this is going to make it uh, much easier. I want to take this, and this is based off of since this is HSTL 35's season schedule. This is based off of HSTL 34's um, final standings, and so I can go to the HSTL. I just want to check this. Yeah, I can go to HSTL and choose the season, and find out. 
who was slotted where. And I'm basically going to take the uh, the same positions. For example, Philly here finished HSTL um, 34 in first place. So when I go to um, choose who goes in first place in the HSTL for for next seasons for HSTL 38 schedule based on HSTL 37 standings, the the Giants here would finish in or would be the first place finisher. And so I'm basically going to take all the um, Philadelphia. Uh, spots in the HSTL 35 schedule and switch them out with the Giants for the HSTL 38 schedule. And basically I'll do that for all the teams uh, between um, the season of 34 and 37 so that and I'm going to use season 35 schedule um, with HSTL 34's season ending standings and place them uh, according to the standings from 37 so that our season 38 schedule uh, matches and then the last step I would do is um, take all of these matchups and the way that this like, the site had it is we basically flip these upside down so week one would be week 16 um, week two would be week 15 and then everything also is flipped from uh, let's see from whoever's home gets flipped so all these home teams their positions is basically flipped to now they're going to be a road team so that even though we only have three versions where we enter uh, conference matchups uh, there's only three different options uh, there are six cycles so that um, one of the cycles say the NFC West team will be home uh, and then you flip it then the other cycle the AFC West team will be home in this example here but uh, anyways, let's get to how we how we go ahead and do this. So the resources we need, I've got Notepad open. Um, I've got the HSTL 37 and 34 um, season ending standings. And I've got HSTL 35 schedule here. I'm going to use 35 schedule because it's essentially the same cycle as what 38 would be because there's, you know, three there's only really three different options uh, but each of those options has like a, a mirror or a, a flipped version where the home teams are switched and the weeks are flip-flopped as well like I explained earlier so here's how we do it I'm gonna I'm gonna copy this and uh, place it into my um, notepad file you can do this in Word too I'm just it's just easier for me to do it in notepad and once I have the whole schedule here I'll copy it into uh, Notepad. Nice. And looking at how the teams are placed, uh, I'm going to basically take, you know, using that same example between HSTL 37 and, and 35, I'm going to place all of the um, first place HSTL 34 teams uh, and replace them with with the the same teams in those divisions but uh, that fit in their places from the end of HSTL 37 my example earlier was HSTL 34 had the Eagles uh, finishing first in NFC East so I'm gonna switch the Eagles with HSTL 37's exam um, first place finisher the Giants now because we have um, in this example the Giants are just NYG um, I don't have Giants I'm going to uh, the, 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 the real key about um, some of the errors here that can happen is if you use um, the, the, the way that I'm gonna switch them out is use uh, what is it called here find and replace essentially uh, I want to replace things that are unique. I don't want to put a bunch of like say I know that San Diego is going to turn into the Raiders. I can't leave um, I can't replace San Diego with the Raiders when I already have the Raiders here. I have to come up with some other name for the Raiders that represents the Raiders um, in terms of the how the formula works for find and replace. So generally I start with the AFCE. So let's look at HSTL 37 
the uh, HSTL 34 team that finished in first place. Uh, this is going to be long. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to make another tab here. Hopefully it shows up on my stream. That yeah, looks like it is. So in 34, the Patriots finished in first place. So uh, I'm going to replace all the Patriots with the, uh, the Bills, who look like they finished in first place. Um, and to save the time that it takes the HSTL tab to load, I'm going to uh, put uh, just put one tab side by side. Let's get um, let's see this one can go back to current seasons. That win by Joey Gats, Dolphins at Rams in the Super Bowl. I drafted that team, and then yeah, bailed out midseason. Not normal camp form. I forgot even what was happening. Uh, okay, 37. Let's go to standings. Oh, those are those two sim games. Terrible. Okay, so here's 34. Here's 37. So we'll start with uh, in 34, the Patriots finished in first place. So in 37, the Bills finished in first place. So what that means is in HSTL 35 schedule, we're going to take the Patriots and replace them with the Bills. Now because Buffalo in our um, what we copied here, Buffalo is put in as Buffalo, uh, I'm gonna replace all the I guess it should be New England, I'm gonna replace all of New England with instead of putting Buffalo I'm gonna put the Bills because then when I need to change Buffalo I don't want to have both where the Bills should be and where the Bills were uh, looking the same because I need to replace Buffalo as well. So I'm just going to go to uh, what is it? Edit, replace, and um, I'm replacing. I'm going to type, it's got to be kind of exact. Um, I want to place New England with, and instead of putting Buffalo, I'll just put the Bills and do replace all. And what that does now instead of New England here, you have the Bills, while this Buffalo still remains here because we're going to change that when we get to their place. All right, um, and then we basically just do that for all 28 teams. It gets pretty easy, and it's it's kind of glorious when teams fall into the same place. Um, and it's just a matter of making sure you don't make mistakes as you go along. So I, I tend to try and do this when I'm rested and have time. Uh, so next up in 34, Colts finish second, and... Uh, Okay. Let's see. Colts finish second and in 37. Ooh, Colts again. So that's easy peasy. Um, I could just ignore them, um, which I generally don't do. I like to keep uh, everything consistent. So I would just go to all of uh, Indianapolis and, oh, come on replace and I'm going to change Indianapolis to Apolis to the Colts choose replace all I'm set now normally I have a much bigger screen but for streaming I gotta close that window each time alright so then third place in 34 camps Dolphins were third and in uh, 37 it was the Patriots so I'm gonna replace the Dolphins with the Patriots you get the idea uh, let's see. Uh, replace. I'm going to replace the Dolphins with the Patriots. So all the Dolphins are in as Miami. So replace Miami and put the Patriots. Replace all. Okay. So. Uh, I think I did hit replace all Patriots. Yep. And let's, well, you know, just move this guy to the side. Next up, we have Dolphins were, let's see, in 34 it was the Jets. In fourth place, we're going to replace the Jets with the Dolphins. So looking at what we have here, here's the New York Jets. And this kind of works out because I haven't put the uh, New York Jets in back in yet so this is one of the reasons why we got to be careful with how we name um, 
name things. And in this case, um, because we're taking out all the Jets, it's actually kind of worked out pretty easily. I'm going to replace all New York Jets with... Uh, who am I replacing them with? The Dolphins, fourth place in the AFC East. And so instead of putting Miami, I'll just put Dolphins. Okay, and this works vice versa. If you have all the uh, mascots there, you can put the uh, uh, the home names, the team uh, cities, in instead of the mascots. And then, which is how I created this schedule. Um, why it ends with all the home the the team city names, uh, except for those cities that have two two teams like the Rams and the Raiders and uh, the Jets and the Giants. F Flip Itsy. I've been flipping her. Okay, so. Uh, I got one more team left. Let's see. 34 Bills get replaced with the Jets. So here we have Bills already in for the new schedule. The old schedule was Buffalo. This is why we changed it to Bills and not put Buffalo. Because now if I replaced all of the ones when I put Buffalo as their new spot, it would replace all of the Buffalo, the ones that are supposed to be staying and the ones we want to get rid of. So in this case, we're just going to replace Buffalo. And we're going to place them with, we, we can put here New York Jets. We already took the whole New York Jets off the, uh, off the radar. And actually, I could just put Jets because there's only one team that's the Jets. All right, so then the AFC East done. You just do the same thing for each uh, each division. Next is AFC Central. So we got first place Pittsburgh in 37. It was Houston in 34. So I'm going to replace Houston with Pittsburgh. All of these have let's see, should say Houston. Yep, Houston. And so instead of replacing Houston with Pittsburgh, since I still have Pittsburgh listed out here, some that right here, I'm going to replace Houston with Steelers. So Houston Steelers replace all. And next, 34 was uh, Browns in second place, and 37 was Oilers in second place. So we replace basically Cleveland with the Oilers. So go here. To Cleveland and Oilers. Now, before I do this, I just want to make sure my last step I put in the Steelers. Yep, Pittsburgh is still there, but the Steelers are there. We got rid of Houston. Okay, so replace Cleveland with the Oilers, replace all. Next, in 34, the Steelers were third, and in 37, the Browns were third. So we're going to replace. Uh, Pittsburgh with Browns. That way it doesn't interfere with the ones that say Cleveland. I think we already took those out, didn't we? So replace Pittsburgh with Browns, replace all. Last one is Bengals and oh, Bengals and Bengals. So that's a simple one. I just replaced Cincinnati with the Bengals. They don't change anything except their name. Okay, so that's two divisions down. Next we have AFC West. Seahawks are in first in 34, so we're going to place them with the Chiefs. So that means we replace Seattle with Chiefs. Replace all. Seattle's gone. And where's the Chiefs? I'd just like to make sure I have this checked out each time. Why don't I see the Chiefs? I see Kansas City. Oh, because I had a little Seattle eye here. There was no Seattle eye. Okay, let's try this again. Replace all. There we go. 
Chiefs. So then next up, we replace the Raiders with da -da -da -da, the Raiders. That makes things really easy because they're already the Raiders. I don't have to worry about uh, city, city and mascot name. We'll just leave that as is. Uh, next up, third place. Again, Broncos and Broncos. This time I'll just replace Denver with Broncos. Place all. Fourth is the Chargers and Chargers. And then Seahawks. So really this just flip-flopped first and last. San Diego to the Chargers. Place all. And we got Chargers there. And then the last one, we're going to replace the Chiefs with the Seahawks. So, this time we replace Kansas City and just put Seahawks in there. Place all. All right, AFC is done. So, once you get, get started, it, it goes by uh, pretty quickly. I hope everything's still showing here. Yep. So, next up, we got... And NFC East, and we checked that earlier. Um, we're going to replace the Eagles with the Giants. So that means replacing Philadelphia. Now the problem is we already had NYG as the Giants, so that actually makes it okay to put just the Giants. So replace Philadelphia with the Giants. That's kind of why I did the NYG. Replace all. So now when I want to replace the Giants... Uh, I'm just looking to replace NYG and not replace like New York Giants or whatever. Um, next is oh crap! Didn't mean to hit that. Uh, Giant <laughs> Giants and Eagles. So this time it's going to be NYG. You can go back. That was a mistake. NYG with Eagles. We don't have any Eagles here. And we do have NYG, so replace all. That's done. Next up, oh, Cowboys and Cowboys, third place. So we'll just replace Dallas with Cowboys. Replace all. Fourth place, Redskins, Cardinals. So Cardinals and Redskins are basically going to flip flop because they were fourth and fifth. So <clears throat> we'll take all of Washington. Flip it with Cardinals because Cardinals are in as Phoenix. Yep, right there. And watch. Okay, so replace all. And then we'll replace all Phoenix with Redskins. Now, this has been pretty easy uh, because I there are some cases where there's movement among cities. Like you have a major player like, like Daboy uh, who goes from maybe to a new team and uh, he you know usually would consider him moving in as a want needing a first place schedule and at the least he should not have a last place schedule and it's been the case where a, a really solid player has moved to a, a team that was a fifth place team uh, the year prior to the move and so I had to make some adjustments according to um, we didn't want to give you know, a top tier player, like one of the top five or six players in the league, uh, basically a, a fifth place schedule. Um, so while I'm doing these last few, I'll tell you about the, the way the fifth place schedules work. Um, the fifth place schedule, let's see, we're going to replace Detroit with Vikings. The fifth place schedules are, are a little different in that um, they only play two games against the other conference. Um, let's see. Vikings. There we go. And replace Chicago with Packers. They also play one of the... They, they play basically uh, the four-team division in their conference. Uh, for example, if the Vikings were in last place... Uh, part of their um, schedule, their schedule will be made up of they play two two games against each of their own teams, so that's eight games in their division. Um, they play the four-team 
division in their conference. Um, so they would play all of the NFC West. So that's 12 games total. And then um, they play the last four games of their schedule because you got eight from their division, another four from the other conference or the other division in their conference. That's all. That's only four uh, teams. And then the last four games, they play two against the other fifth place team in their division. So let's say the say the Cowboys were in last place also that year. Vikings would play two against the Cowboys. And then they would play each of the fifth place teams from the opposite conference. Could be from the NFC or the AFC East and the AFC West. Okay, so that's kind of how the that's the quirk of the schedule, uh, the way it works using um, this Justice Sports scheduling technique. And uh, I get two more of these. Once I finish this one, I get two more of these. We'll have all six uh, on my little PM to. Uh, to Hoff there, I have all six examples, and I can just kind of post all those and label them one through six uh, in terms of the cycles, and then then it would be easy peasy. Once you figure out what uh, cycle your your season was on, just move it on to the next one and replace the teams. Eventually, I'm sure we'll get somebody to put the formula uh, to good use where they're doing uh, laying the computer doing the work that I'm doing, but. This works now for what usually is just a half hour. It's just taking me longer because I'm trying to walk, talk my way through it. So uh, I replaced Bears with Packers, right? Do we have Packers here? Yep. Okay, so next is the third team. Vikings and Bears. So I'm going to replace Minnesota with Bears. There's Minnesota. We don't have Bears. So... Okay, fourth place, Buccaneers and Buccaneers. So we'll just change Tampa Bay to Buccaneers. And then fifth place, you got Packers, Green Bay replaced with Lions. So do we see yeah, we still have Green Bay? Green Bay. Replace with Lions. All right, uh, one more division to go. NFC West. Thirty-four was Atlanta. Thirty-five or seven is Rams. So we're going to place Atlanta with Rams. And here's my issue. <clears throat> I have uh, LA Rams already out there, and I, if I want to replace the Falcons, or, you know, Atlanta with the, with the Rams. When I go to replace the Rams, I'm going to be in trouble. So what I'm going to do is actually do the Rams first. Uh, in 34, the Rams were third place, and in 37, the Saints were third place. So I'm going to take all the LA Rams and replace them with the Saints, and that'll get rid of my Rams uh, from the old schedule, so I can put the new Rams into the new schedule. Hope that makes sense. <coughs> Okay, and first place was Falcons, so I'm going to change Atlanta and just put Rams. Nope, not in there, dude. Okay, Atlanta. Change that to Rams. Should be good. Two more teams to go. Second place was the Saints, and I'm going to change that with the Falcons. So I'm going to change the city, New Orleans, to the Falcons. Replace all. And got one more, and it was the Niners in both instances, San Francisco. So let's just change San Francisco to the 49ers, replace all, and now we're good. Um, the only team that looks a little weird is the Raiders. I didn't change because they're all caps. Uh, I can change that too. Let's just change LA Raiders to just Raiders. How's that for sound? Kind of makes it more aesthetically pleasing and uh, truth be told when you make your schedule uh, in like if, I, if you want to create a schedule in t uh, TSB Tools Supreme um, you kind of want this formatting where you have the uh, the mascots um, 
I'm not sure. I think it does use the at sign um, in it. Generally, there's like uh, a space here. Like if you want to copy and paste this in. Um, but the real difference is if you put if you just plug and play this into TSB Tool Supreme, um, Cardinals at Cowboys truthfully means in you know when you're putting it into a TSB ROM that the Cardinals will be the home team. Uh, it's just a weird quirk, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and also there uh, in in TSB Tool Supreme, when you open up the ROM, there are none of them uh, team mascot names are capitalized. So I guess technically that wouldn't work um, with these. I could go to uh, basically <laughs> do each letter and replace all the capital letters with lowercase letters, but I'm, I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, but basically now the schedule's done. Uh, in terms of the matchups, and so all I want to do now is flip flop. Um, oh God, that's going to be a pain. Flip flop who's home and who's away. Whew, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think. I don't because I don't think I've ever done that before. Uh, I think the way I've approached this in the past was I found the schedule that was um, that already had them flip-flopped home away and 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 uh, went top to bottom and I used that schedule as my base so I wouldn't if, if I were to do it uh, properly I would have found maybe HSTL 32's schedule because 32 is essentially going to be the same as 38 it's the same cross-conference matchups as 35 um, and 38, but because uh, it's every three years, you you want to flip flop, you know, the cross conference ones in terms of divisional places, who's away and who's home. Uh, you would do that, but this is essentially this is a at least a way to know how to use. If you you know the key is finding the right resources, and then um, you're basically just plugging in. Uh, each team has its own slot in the schedule and so you're just replacing the team from the previous schedule with the team's placing of the most recent season um, to create the schedule that way so I'm gonna cut it off now I'm gonna try and find uh, the correct cycle for HSTL 32 or something that matches that um, and uh, and do it or maybe I might just flip these but I don't want to flip these on on air it sounds really tedious uh, but if you have watched this, uh, thank you, and I uh, hope this helped, and uh, we'll, we'll see you on the flip side.